What does Hexa mean? Uh, it means witch in German. We were just uh, trying to come up with something spooky. So let's talk about how you got into the coffee trade. Uh, I was sick of spending so much money on coffee and decided to look up how much it would cost to just buy raw coffee beans. In the parking lot of a coffee shop, on my phone, bought five pounds of raw coffee beans and a whirly popper, like an old popcorn machine. So um, it was really just on a whim. You were like, man, this coffee's expensive. Yeah, and I promised my wife that it wouldn't be a thing. <laughs> I, like, I was just messing around. And then I said so much extra coffee, so I started selling it to, or giving it away to friends. And then, um, I, need, I was running out of money because I was buying so much of it because I was having so much fun roasting it and like giving away all this coffee. Um, so then I decided I'll just try to sell it at the festivals in town. So it sounds like you're a guy that gets super passionate about something. Yeah. When you told your wife like you started doing festivals, pop-ups, all that yeah. stuff. Once that started then she was all, I mean, She's been with me every step of the way of it. Were you selling it wholesale to restaurants too? And yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, grocery stores, restaurants, bars, cafes. We roast and package everything in house. We do. We specialize in barrel aged coffees. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, we take the raw coffee bean. We put it in a bourbon barrel or a rye barrel, uh, which we get from local distillers. Few. Yeah, and that's what really put us on the map. We did barrel aged cold brew. Well, this is a beautiful building. You're kind of at this really interesting intersection of neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. There's Avondale, Bucktown, Roscoe Village, Lakeview. I've been baking since I was a kid. Always super into it. Used to watch like cooking shows as a kid and bake for my neighbors. Um, you know, baked with my grandparents. How old were you when you started baking? I have pictures of me as like a five-year-old baking co cookies oh my with my grandma. Yeah, so I'm actually a special effects artist full time. I got into this around five years ago. Um, I, before that, I was baking, always had food industry jobs, decorating cookies, cakes. I was a pastry chef for a few years. We have Pop-Tarts, we have Hot Pockets, we have rolls, we have pies. Um, but yeah, whatever I'm feeling that week, you know, and whatever's in season. So Can you explain what Estrada is? So Estrada is basically a savory bread pudding. Um, the one we have right now uh, is kale, butternut squash, cheddar, onion, garlic. Um, lots of spices. So we always have this gluten-free almond coconut candle. So it's shaped like a candle and it has a little almond wick that you can light. I mean, I'm here, you know, full time, like 30, 40 hours a week on top of my normal 40 hour week jobs. First thing, six in the morning, coffee, um, house-made pastries, and then once lunchtime comes around, you know, Irish coffees, Bloody Marys, craft beer. <laughs> nice. We make beer with other people. We made a beer with Low Res Brewing in Pilsen. Cool, coffee based? Mm hmm. We have wine on tap, cocktails on draft. If you're not into the sweet stuff, we have like plenty of savory options. You know, we just have a little something for everyone. <laughs> and then we also have charcuterie at night. Um, so we have a bunch of like delicious cheeses and meats. I don't like things that are overly sweet. So. Try to tone down the sweetness, bring in some like, you know, acidity and savory and all my cookies have salt on them. Sorry, but <laughs> it's just the way it's gonna be.